and think not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. Even our praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rechah the more honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well, laboring the word and doctrine. Shalawa meaning peace, may that be unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Kao halayim la Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rechah meaning all praises to the Most High Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, in the name of the only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Yehoshua, his name is Yahweh Shai, in the name of Racha Kodash, which would mean the Spirit Holy or the Holy Spirit. So in Matthew chapter 3, and reading in the context, we'll start at verse 1. It says, In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea, and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And again, that is our message. You know, repentance is our message. A change of heart, a change of mind, a change of conduct and behavior. That's what we're preaching. We're not just preaching an instruction, you know, that no one can make it out of. But we're making aware those, you know, of the bloodline of Israel, of a certain bloodline of Abraham. That if you don't repent, you will face a horrible, horrible judgment. You know, and that's what we're trying to avoid for ourselves too. Okay. Matthew 3 and 3 said, For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, or Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Said, And the same John had his raiment of camel's hair and a leathern girdle about his loins, and his meat was locusts and wild honey. Then went out to him Jerusalem and all Judea and all the region round about Jordan, and were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. Right, what sin, transgression of the law. So you can see in this, the precursor, or the one preparing the way for Yahweh Shai, was talking about the law. Right, so you plantation Christian bogots. What does that mean? It means we don't destroy the law. You know, we don't make void the law through faith, but rather we establish the law. Right, so repentance is believing on the Father. And changing from the world coming out of that verse 7 of Matthew the third chapter but when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism he said unto them O generation of vipers who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come bring forth therefore fruits meat for repentance as right, so you get the idea again repentance okay and bringing forth fruits men are like unto trees okay I see men as trees Psalm 1 as well. I'll actually pull that. Psalm 1. The whole chapter, why not? Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Right, That would be the living water. Right, this word is the water. That everlasting spring. Because that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, his leaf, his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but I like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. So that's it, like unto a tree, a tree planted by rivers of water. So men are like unto trees. What does a tree bring? Fruit. All right, Matthew 3 and 7. <clears throat> but when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come. Right, a viper is a snake. <laughs> and Jake uses that term today. You know, oh, yeah, you snake. Verse 8. Bring forth as well, you know, the vipers... A viper is like unto was well, a snake, so it's like a serpent. There was a lot of Jake behaving like the serpent, therefore behaving like Cain, you know, behaving like E. Verse 8 Bring forth fruits, meat for repentance. And think not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. If I say unto you that the most high is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. Okay, so we can extend that to Isaac, we can extend that to Jacob. Right, a lot of people go on in this truth, go on like just because we're Israelites, 
we're automatically saved. It's like how they say, say all medicines are drugs, not all drugs are medicines. Right? All the elect, all of them that will be saved are Israelites. Not all Israelites will be saved. Okay, so it's about our conduct. Just because you're of a lineage doesn't mean you have an excuse to go and be a wicked demon. To be a devil. Yeah, a black devil, a butterscotch devil. What does it mean? It means you're eligible to receive salvation. So instead of thinking you're, 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 an ex, you're excused or anything like that, far from it. You know, to whom much is given, much is required. So we're meant to be on point. We're meant to, to the best of our ability, keep the law. To the best of our ability, remain faithful. You know, stay fasting. You know, treat, be hu humble, have humility. Treat your brother with respect. You know, even in the world, dealing with these random people. These people, you know, they could be idolaters, adulterers. But it says if it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably among all men. Right, that's the fruits of the Spirit. Now that it says as much as, much as lieth in you, if it be possible. There might be situations where it's impossible or it's Im <laughs> improbable. You know, but it doesn't mean you have to go around being an ass. All right, you do, you get your bread, you know, and you carry on. As I said, work in quietness and you know, get, get your bread in quietness, roughly paraphrasing. Use the world that abuse it. So verse 9 once more. I think not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham to our father. If I say unto you that the Most High is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. Because And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Okay. Again, there's men as trees there. Let's get Ephesians chapter 1. Now concerning, it's not just about every single Jake, every Israelite. Right, Ephesians chapter Ephesians starting start chapter 1. Paul, an apostle, that's right in the first one. Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shai Hamashai, by the will of the Most High, to the saints, which are Ephesus, and to the faithful in the Hamashai, to Yahweh Shai. Now let's not get caught up. Oh. See what it says? No, it's Israelite. Right, the covenant is made with Israel. Romans 9 and 3 said, For I could wish that myself were a curse from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of the Most High and the promises, whose are the fathers and of whom, as concerned the flesh, Hamashiach came, who is overall Most High blessed forever. Okay, so what, was, what did he say? The d adoption, right, which is the, the buying back, you know, the, the graphing in. The glory, that's the kingdom, the covenants, right, the promises, the giving of the law, right, so the what's right and what's wrong was given unto Israel. So that's another reason why we shouldn't be, oh, well, I'm an Israelite, I'm of Abraham, so I don't need to be righteous. No, you absolutely do. The service of the Most High, that's clear, and the promises. Now, we, that was off the idea of the saints. So the Israelites had the covenant, so now we're tying it back into the saints. Who the saints have a covenant, therefore the saints will be Israel. Psalm 50 and 5 Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. So that's Israel. Okay. Back to Ephesians. So we've established it, yeah, it's for the Israelites, or oh, that's a, a factor. Now, to be of the elect, you'd have to be an Israelite. Just because you're an Israelite doesn't mean you're of the elect, you're eligible. Which is of the same root. So verse 1 again of Ephesians chapter 1. Paul an apostle of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach by the will of the Most High. To the saints, which are Ephesus, and to the faithful in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Now the saints and faithful are the same group here. It's not like you have saints, the Israelites, and then you have a faithful group of some random people. You know, a church, an ecclesia, is a gathering together of the Israelites. Verse 3, Blessed be the Most High and Father of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Hamashiach, according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children. So again, the adoption. What do we read in Romans 9? 
The adoption is one of the things that pertaineth to Israel. Right, the glory, the covenants, the promise, the service of the Most High. Right, the adoption was one of them. So the saints, we read that the saints were the ones with the covenant, right, Israel. Having predestinated us into the adoption, yeah, Israel. But guess what? Not all Israel. That's the key part. Because we'll go through some milk. Say, Look, this is for Israel, this is for Israel. But then this is, that's why people have a problem. Oh, why are you camp back in? We're all Israelites. We need to understand the scriptures. Right, yeah, the Lord came. To uh, bring that for Israel, but only the elect and the prophets in it on this side. Right, so you can't pretend just because we're Israelites, just because we have the lineage of Abraham, that we can't rebuke one another when the scriptures speak on rebuke. Thou shalt not hate thy neighbor in thine heart, thou shalt in any wise rebuke, or thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart, thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. If you, you're letting someone sin, your brother sin, you're not saying shit, that's hatred, right? That's not love. You're going on a Western, not even Western, but just a bugged out fucking E version of love, right? Accept anything they do. If he's a murderer, just let him go on a murder. That's love. That's love. No, it's not. Accepting and tolerating every single thing is not love, right? It's to the contrary. It's to the detriment of that person. Right, so it's predestinated us into the adoption of children by him. By Yahushua HaMashiach, himself according to the good pleasure of his will. <clears throat> if we're going into a time of all, all our help, let's see who actually will get redeemed out of this. We know there's a division, this civil ethnic persecution. We know that it talks about Jacob, he shall be saved out of it. Like Jeremiah 30, verse 7. Like Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for, for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since it was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Right, that's the key. Everyone that's found written in the book. What book? The book of life, which only contains the elect. So don't think, oh, I have Abraham to my father. Right, who cares? Philippians 4 and 3. And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, which means a co laborer, a colleague, help those women which labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other with other my fellow laborers whose names are in the book of life. Right? So they'd be of the elect of the election. Revelation 3 and 5. He that overcometh, the same should be clothed in white raiment, right? Representing a pure, chaste garment. And I'll blot out his name. Sorry, and I will not blot out his name, excuse me. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. So the book of life is, uh, we're all potentially there. You know, and then like it says there, your name potentially could get blotted out. Right, so if you take the M-O-T-B, guess what you did? You got your name blotted out, right? Revelation 13 and 8. Said, and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the world. So getting down with this Roman E, e man system, you know, that would mean you're not of the elect. Especially if you take the charagma ultimately. So just because you're a child of Abraham, a child of Israel even, doesn't mean you can you're excused from any wickedness. Now, as I said earlier, there's more the onus is more on you. get all these but I'll wrap it up on this. Revelation twenty two and verse eighteen.